first campaign, coming off the bench, 8 for 15, no Kyle Lowry. Yep. So you knew the minutes were going to ramp up for him. 23 minutes and 58 seconds, just under 24. He had four turnovers. Sometimes campaign can do some things and get a little crazy with the basketball, but his shooting and his shooting, his defense in a sense, because he had two block shots and a steal in this one also, but his shooting uh, of going five for 10, took the most threes on the team this afternoon, and he finished with 23, and not only did he do that, but he hit some big shots in the fourth quarter where they needed them most as the Clippers, again, shrink in the lead, you needed to pull away, campaign, he does not, he does not, wait, he is not afraid in any no, moment, yeah. and he fired them up, and when he did, they went in. Yeah, I mean, look, campaign is, is sort of the definition of boomer bus player. He is going to take tough shots at his size, at his quickness. He almost has to. Even his shots at the rim are usually contested. Certainly his threes, his step-back threes, his sidesteps threes are tough attempts a lot of times. And the shot side release. Yeah, it takes him shot. a little while to get it off, so yeah. it's a, you have a chance to close out on it. He's going to have some nights where those tough shots aren't going to go in, or in some nights like tonight where he shoots 5 for 10 from 3 and gives you a real boost of energy. They certainly do not win this game without campaign. Um, and he was driving force behind much of what they did late in that one. Uh, he Look, he was real good. And like I said, do I know if he can keep that up? No, because that's a real tough shot that he, he, lives, he lives off of. Um, but he was dynamic today. He was, he was really, really good. good. Yep. Five points in the first quarter, five points in the second. Five in the third, and yeah. then he went off for the eight. Not necessarily went off, but those two or four that he took there in that fourth quarter. Some big shots again, folks, because the Sixers were. This is during their stretch where they don't want to run. At one point, it was like 18-2 run, and campaign mm -hmm. was a big part of that. He had a he had a tough shot where he took a, a bad three, but then he had the two good ones where they were in rhythm because he had already done something on the positive side where it felt good, and he took it. And the Sixers again were on that run. It wasn't just him. It was Tobias Harris with a big shot. K.J. Martin with some good minutes there mm -hmm. in the middle as the, as the short roll man in the middle of the floor making decisions. A couple of times he hit Paul Reed on the low on the baseline or he kicked the ball out to the perimeter, one being two. In fact, Tobias Harris where he knocked down the three again, part of that 18-2 run. So they had their hands in a lot of things, but the campaign piece was, was really, really good because he, he ran the floor. You did not have Kyle Lowry. And when we talk about Kyle Lowry playing some really good basketball, even when he is not making shots, it's everything else, controlling the floor, the defense of intensity, helping out as a team defender out there on the floor, and again, just making the ball move and not allowing it to be stagnant where the offense just stops. Campaign didn't do that either. Even yep. when he did keep the ball and not pass it, he made decisions very quickly, whether it was for himself or for others. Yeah, and that's part of why when he makes shots, it helps not just because like certainly those 15 points I got off of his threes, that helps too, but also because it allows you to keep him on the floor and get some of that passing creativity, get some of that shot creation on the floor. He didn't end up with a big assist night tonight. I don't believe what he ended up with, uh, three assists on the night in 23 minutes, but I do think the ball moved pretty well, especially there in the second half, especially after the Clippers came back and tied it there. Uh, no, he was, he was real good. Uh, really the ball movement overall, with the exception of some Tobias Harris moments. And look, some of those moments, Tobias was making them. Yeah. So he was making those you know, mid-post fadeaways that he doesn't always make. But I thought overall the ball movement was good, and that a lot of times leads to 37 three-point attempts. And unfortunately, this is the kind of team where lately they can get up 37 three-point attempts and make eight of them, yeah. and you have no chance to win. But that ball movement does lead to some high-quality shots. 